I'm Jeremy Moore, uh, race engineer for Team Vodafone, uh, headquarters of Banyo, and welcome to the Norton 360 Engineered for Speed technical section. Today, we're looking at brakes. Front brakes are Alcon 375 um, control spec. Um, they're one of the most critical parts on the cars. These cars are quite heavy, so um, brakes are, I wouldn't say uh, limiting factor, but they're, they're on the limit for the wheel size, only 17 inch wheel. So uh, the braking um, cooling factor of the, of the brakes are one of the, the most important things to get right in these cars. Otherwise you, you'll, be, you'll be going nowhere and you can't fight for position. Uh, we run Project Mu front brake pads. You can only have um, two or three um, brake pads in, in the championship. Generally it's either Project Mu or PFCA ones. Um, so we run uh, these pads. Um, we manufacture all the brake bells and all the components in-house. Now one of the most important things on the front brakes especially is brake cooling. Uh, you've got to keep the temperature down on these pads especially, anything over 900 degrees which is quite easily seen at tracks like Indy and uh, the pedal will go to the floor, you won't have any retardation and um, your race is over so uh, quite often sometimes if you have a, have a shunt and lose the uh, front brake duct you only get one or two laps out of the, the brakes and um, the brakes can actually explode by uh, overheating so it's really important to keep them cool. A lot of teams run brake sprays which sprays water into the calipers, on, into the rotors themselves to keep them cool. Um, it probably does 50, 100 degrees difference, but if it's just the um, difference between going over their critical value or staying under, it's um, worthwhile carrying all the extra weight around. On the rear, again, it's a Control Alcon disc rotor, uh, 343 millimetres in diameter. Uh, same thing, there's in the category, you only can run three different uh, pads on the back, DS3000, PFC97 and RS4-4s. Uh, a lot of teams vary the different pads um, front and back to try to get different brake balances during the stop. It's quite critical to keep the uh, all four wheels either make sure that they're all going to lock up at once instead of having the, say the rears go and later in the stop and the fronts go at the start of the stop. So it's all about phasing the, uh, the um, friction of the pads with regards to brake temperature and uh, brake bias so it's all trying to get the, the package working the best for each driver.